September 12, Thursday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear I say, Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, What credit is that for you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. Then, your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, for He Himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you, a good measure packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord The measure with which you measure. It is natural for parents to be protective, generous, and kind to their children. So it is among tribes kin, friends, and comrades. But Jesus' standard surpasses that of ordinary folks when he enjoins his disciples to love their enemies and forgive sinners, to be merciful just as the Father is merciful. The ways of God overflow with love and compassion, searching for the lost and the sinners, filling up what is lacking, redeeming those who are in debt walking the extra mile and offering a cloak to the poor. Jesus embodies his Father's magnanimous love to the extent that in kenosis, he empties himself of his equality with God in order to lift up all of humanity to become children of God. By imitating God's love and mercy, we make friends out of our enemies instead of destroying them. After all, in God's eyes, everyone is worth saving.